One of the nation's surprise places for job growth of late has not been on the Sun Belt, but on the Rust Belt, Milwaukee. And as a result, occupancy rates are tightening and we're even seeing some construction. Welcome to Apart Mart Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Milwaukee update. The big story in Milwaukee has been job growth. Check out some numbers here from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. They are showing that Milwaukee added 21,200 jobs in the year ending June 2011. That amounts to growth of 2.6%. Incredible number for times like this. And that makes Milwaukee the best major market anywhere for percentage job growth, better than any Texas market over the same period. And interestingly, that doesn't even look like a blip. But Milwaukee is showing annual job growth around 20,000 jobs every month of 2011, thanks in part to a pickup in jobs in manufacturing and in trade. Of course, a word of caution, or actually two words of caution. Number one, these gains don't make up for losses during the recession in Milwaukee, and actually they don't even bring Milwaukee back to the employment levels they had a decade ago. And number two, the BLS revises its data all the time, so it wouldn't be surprising to see that number revised downward. So we can't vouch for BLS data, but we do vouch for our own, and the underlying apartment data shows that Milwaukee probably is gaining some jobs. Apartment occupancy is up in each of the past four quarters, up 0.6 points specifically in 2Q, and it is up two points in the year ending June 2011. And now the overall rate is looking very impressive. Let's compare Milwaukee here to some other metros in the upper Midwest, and you see there's Milwaukee, 96.9%, very, very strong, behind only Minneapolis-St. Paul, and those two are in a league of their own in the upper Midwest. No other metro in the region is at even 95%. Occupancy comes in between 94 and 95% in Chicago, Cleveland, Dayton, and Detroit. So, people are filling up apartments in Milwaukee, and now we're hearing reports of new apartment construction in Milwaukee, which is a place that usually doesn't get very much of it. We are tracking five projects just in the central Milwaukee submarket that are now under construction. Five projects, that's more than some larger markets have anywhere in, the, in their entire metro area. Let's switch gears and talk about pricing. And despite the very tight occupancy rates, rents just aren't climbing very much in Milwaukee, at least not yet. Same store rental rates did improve 1.4% between March and June 2011. That's not bad. But year over year, rents climbed just 2.5%. That's well behind the U.S. norm of 3.8%. And part of that is due to central Milwaukee, that submarket where we're seeing an uptick in construction. Overall occupancy there is very tight. It's at 96.4%, but same store rents are actually down slightly, down 1.4% year over year. Now, one area where that has not been the case is the West Allis Greenfield area. Same store rents there jumped 6.4% in the year ending June 2011, by far the best among Milwaukee submarkets, and occupancy there is in incredible shape, 97.6%, and that is up 2.3 points year over year. Now, Looking ahead for Milwaukee, this is not a metro we're ready to bet the farm that will continue to have significant job growth and great revenue growth down the line for the apartment sector. But this is one where the apartment sector is in fundamentally strong shape, and it wouldn't be surprising to see rent growth pick up a bit in the near term. And that wraps us up for Milwaukee. So until next time, for Apart Mark Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.